Stampers, this is Dawn from Dawn Stamping Thoughts Sunnet, and today we're going to make this beautiful card. We're going to make these dragonflies, and don't they look like stained glass? They're so pretty. So let me show you what we're using. We're going to be using the detailed dragonfly thinlets. We're going to use these two dragonflies. And then we're also going to use the Dragonfly Dreams stamp set. We're going to use this Thanks for the Smile and everything else. Very sweet. And remember, you can buy these in a bundle and save 10%. Okay, so let me show you the other ones that I made. So this one is using the Pear Pizzazz. And then this one is using the Wisteria Wonder. This base is the Wild Wasabi. These are all my new um, glitter queens that sign up for the month of February. They're going to get one of these cards. So I went ahead and made a bunch of different colors. Okay, so then this one is the Clipso Coral. Isn't it beautiful? This is the one we're going to make today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with the base. This is the Clipso Coral, and this is cut at 5.5 by 8.5. And, and you're going to score it at 4 and a quarter. And then I went ahead and cut two pieces of Whisper White and two pieces of Black. This is going to be for the inside. So the Whisper White is cut at 3 and 3 quarter by 5. And then the Basic Black is cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter. Okay, so let me show you all the colors that we used for all the, the cards. So now this one, I used the Soft Sky Marker, the Island Indigo, and the Pear Pizzazz. So that's the color combination for those. And then for the Wisteria Wonder, the color combination I used for that was Wisteria Wonder, the So Saffron, and the Mint Macaron. So that's the color combo for that one. And then this one for the Clipso Coral one that we're making right now, I use the Clipso Coral marker, the Pink Pirouette, and then this one is the Peekaboo Peach. So those are the colors that we're going to use for this one. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp first the greeting. So I'm going to be using the Memento ink. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this greeting. And then the bottom. Thanks for the smile and everything else. Isn't that sweet? Love it. All right, so now we're going to grab our Big Shot. And then the basic black, we're going to cut out two of the dragonflies. Okay, so now we're going to use the dye brush. really nice with the dragonfly. Look how nice. Just pops everything out and then if it doesn't pop out you can just run your fingernail over it and it just easily comes out just like that. All right, now we're going to use the Whisper White, and then we're going to cut the solid image out twice with this. Okay, so let's move the big shot. Okay, so I wanted to share this really amazing tip that I got from my friend BJ. So this is just a container and I have a sponge, a wedge of a sponge. And we're going to use the liquid glue. This is the multi-purpose liquid glue. And I'm going to use the lid like BJ did. So she squeezed the glue right on the top of the lid. You don't need a lot. And then we're going to grab our silicone craft sheet. And with the sponge, you're just going to dip it in the glue and then you're going to take your dragonflies and you're just going to add the glue to the back side of it. So you just pounce that onto the dragonfly and it just gets right where you need it, the glue, when you're using this sponge like that. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. So then you just attach this to the Whisper White piece of the Dragonfly. And you still have time. It's very forgiving, so you can still have time to move it around. So look at that. Perfect. So I'm going to take the other one, do the same thing. And 
and take the Whisper White. Just layer it onto the Whisper White Dragonfly. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. I love that I would tip. take the sponge and kind of wipe up the excess of the glue and then just tuck that into the container. And I got these containers at the dollar store. And then you just take a baby wipe and wipe that craft sheet off. Okay, so now we're ready to color in our dragonflies. So we're going to take the Peekaboo Peach and I'm going to use the wide tip and I'm going to just color in the dragonfly pieces where the white is showing through. the other one. Okay, then the next color is going to be the pink pirouette. Then the last color is going to be the Clipsal Coral. Aren't they pretty? Okay, so now we're going to pop these up on Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm just going to put two on the back side of each. I've been making these all day. My fingers are gummy from the glue. <laughs> but how easy is that to get that lined up? So perfect. Okay, so now we're going to take our dragonflies and I'm just going to position one going this way and then don't push the dragonfly all the way down because you might be able to pick it up and adjust it a little bit. And I think right there looks pretty good. Let's see what it looks like on the basic black. Yeah, that looks really pretty. All right, we're just going to attach these two pieces together. See, if I wanted to still pick that up and move it, I still had a little bit of time before it really sealed down with the dimensional. Okay, so now we're going to put this under the front. So pretty. And we're going to put this on the inside. Okay, so now we're going to add some Winkastella to the dragonflies. When I was doing my Facebook Live with my team and we made this card together, the Winka Stella really makes the dragonfly so much prettier. Okay. And then you can also add it to the body of the dragonfly too. I did that to a couple of them. Just adds more shimmer to your dragonfly. So hopefully that's showing up. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. So then here's the other one. And then here's the Wisteria Wonder. And then I made two of the Pear Pizzazz. And then this one is with the Wild Wasabi cardstock. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.